Uh, first off, um, probably no surprise to anyone is the amount of construction that's going on in town. Uh, there's you know, quite a few building projects going on, and a lot of that involves us, especially marking the utilities. We've uh, spent an inordinate amount of time this year just marking out utilities for all the construction projects uh, through Main Street with a gas company. We have our own project going on at Cedar Street. Uh, we're replacing the water main down there as part of the, uh, the downtown uh, project. So they're, um, uh, they've got most of that done now. They have a few more steps to do, and then that will be all set. Uh, we've also had to deal with several emergencies this year. Uh, we've had a couple of big main breaks. Uh, we've had uh, one on Chamberlain Street, uh, right where the Charles River uh, crossing is. Uh, we actually had a, just a little bit of water bubbling, and we went out to investigate, and when we looked on the downstream side, we saw quite a bit of water in the Charles, and we looked on the upstream side, there wasn't much. Uh, so we actually looked in the culvert, and we could see about a 10 to 15 gallon a minute leak was actually making its way into the culvert uh, unseen, and we were able to track that one down, repair that. Uh, we also had uh, probably people seeing the um, water leak we had uptown on Main Street. Uh, it was actually took us quite a while to find that one. It was coming from the, the old water main, 1888 water main, that we replaced about six years ago. And we know that that was all cut and capped, so we could not figure out where the water was coming from uh, getting into the old main. And we finally cut down uh, one night, cut it open to see where water was coming from. We saw it coming from the uphill side, and we were able to trace it back to an old line that was uh, being fed uh, from a new service off of Walcott Street. It was actually running through one of the old buildings up there that was vacant that we'd been trying to get in and finally were able to get in and found that the water was going in from the back side of the building and going out into the old main, uh, even though it had been shut off at one time. We're not sure how it got turned back on, but that was actually causing the, uh, the old main uh, uh, to leak out front, so we were finally able to get that one fixed. And then we had a real doozy uh, over on Woody Island Road about three weeks ago. Um, the water main uh, on the, 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 uh, the road going out to the island actually burst and was shooting good 30 feet in the air, just like in the movies. I keep telling anyone that never happens, but it's the first time I've ever seen that happen, and we worked uh, the entire night trying to restore service uh, to the island. We had to run a temporary line, also get the road open, because residents couldn't get out. Um, the uh, police and fire were not able to get out there either, so we uh, had to work through the night to get uh, access uh, back out there and get them water and working on a long-term fix uh, for that one right now. Uh, in addition to that, we've got some new equipment in that we've been using. Uh, maybe we can go take a look at that afterwards. We have a, a new valve turner that allows us to exercise the water main uh, gate valves so that those are available to us in emergencies that we're able to get on them and shut them down quicker, being able to restore service to the community quicker. Uh, less water is lost during leakage and less damage to the roads. Uh, so we've had a lot going on that's been keeping us busy. Uh, the weather, you know, thankfully we've been lucky the past two summers, although it's been pretty hot. We've had just enough rain that's been able to help us out and be able to keep the uh, groundwater uh, fairly high uh, and, and keep the water supplies uh, pretty stable. So we've been lucky in that aspect with not too much damage. Uh, we've had a few lightning storms, but uh, nothing that's been too bad. I know the highway's been out a couple of times with some uh, down branches and so, but, uh, but overall it just seems like it gets busier and busier here in town with uh, you know, being right at the intersection of 495 and the Mass Pike. Uh, it's just a, a big boom for the construction here. So we're pretty much running uh, nonstop. Wow, so does it calm down a little bit or is it going to be nonstop throughout the rest of the summer? Uh, it, it will be nonstop because we've got the, now the gas company digging in the center of town, so they'll be going through our utilities. We're still working on marketing with them, and uh, like I said, we'll still be finishing up with our Cedar Street main, and we'll be starting up some other projects that we have going on uh, as well. So, yeah, it'll be, uh, it makes the day go by quick, which is good. <laughs>